Shut up and sit down. you tell us about you well i'm a guy <laughs> i'm just a, i'm just a, a a dude that is just weird as hell <laughs> and and then this guy right here kyle decided to stalk me <laughs> find me on the socials of the medias and then start he slid into my dms okay with his whole talk of his p his pc his podcast <laughs> and uh and then he showed me he showed me his podcast it, he showed me his podcast and uh and here I am and i done I've done one before, but I'm a comedian, I'm an actor, I'm a weirdo and uh um hi everybody how are you oh hi hi wait, do I hear Chris trying to pop in there <laughs> well anyway um we had two other guys that were supposed to be on this evening unfortunately something came up and they were unable to join us but i promise the show is gonna this show is gonna be awesome because travis is funny as hell chris is funny as hell and um if y'all don't like it i'm gonna stalk every one of you he's a stalker guys he will find you and find he you. will do things to your anyways <laughs> And so you're in Utah, right? Yeah, I'm in uh, Jesusville, Utah, where uh, Jesus is everywhere, man. He's, <laughs> I mean, he's, he's around more than my father ever was. You know? <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm in Jesusville, Utah, South Jordan, Utah. You know, the people out here are great. Not all of them. I mean, it's, you know, you've got Mormons and then you've got Mormons, like, that are like, they want to. They want to kill you. They're nice to your face, but they. They just. They don't care if you're alive. I, I hear you. Lots cool people. There's lots of cool people. Pretty mountains. We've got mountains here. Do you have mountains where you're at? Where the fuck are you again? Texas. I'm in, I, I am. I am. Ooh, who's this? Somebody else is coming in. Um, I am actually right outside of Austin, and there's lots of hills and all that good stuff. Are you guys oh, got hills out there too? Shit. Yes, we do. Yeah. What's up, Chris? Oh, his audio is still trying to connect here. Um, okay. um I, I, I'm what you might call a random person. So if anybody's watching this right now, okay, I can't see if anybody's watching this. But if you're watching, um, go ahead and follow me at Hooner Tank. And uh, Travis Troy Hunter is my professional actor page. Okay, so get him. Don't cross the streams there. They're two different people. <laughs> <laughs> <Don't cross. laughs> what uh what should we do? Like I don't know what this show is about. Like am I supposed to Can you hear me I, now? How, how do you want me to entertain you? We want you to be as funny as you possibly can be. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know like what how. See it's this corn is <laughs> I am well, Cornholio. Man. I need TP for my bunghole. So I need TP for my bunghole. <laughs> Chris, you've talked to Travis before, right? Yeah, Travis is cool as fuck, man. I feel like that one fucking Russian cosmonaut that they left in space. Like I got his <laughs> Wi-Fi playing. Like he just like wrapped a coat hanger in some aluminum foil. He got like to talk to Earth like for 15 seconds every other Tuesday. Yeah, he's like send borscht and vodka. Peace, Yuri. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what Travis puts videos out every day, and they are the funniest thing. Even if he's just making faces, it just I, I just want to know where he, I, I want to know where he gets the hair at because I'm in the market for some hair myself. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> are? He just keeps the most luxurious locks. I just yeah. I just gotta know. Yeah. Well, I mean, this one this one was my this is my ex girlfriend's wig. Like, and I, women, women that wear wigs, like, I mean, I have no idea. And like, and then I like put my hands through her hair and it was like this. I'm like, where the fuck did your hair go? And it was so weird. But this was my ex-girlfriend's. And then I got this one at the, uh, 
you know, the spirit Halloween store. This is my vegan, this is my vegan um, Karen wig. <laughs> I think more of a Samantha, you know. Then, I got this at the spirit Halloween store. I'm about, to stand, I'm about to stand up for the honor of gingers right now, man. Don't be talking bad about gingers. <laughs> oh, ginger scats. <laughs> oh, I, I got some shit to say about some gingers. Did you know that this whole soul thing is actually true? I read it. Yeah, on the still, and I know like two like gingers, like six foot one, like fucking pale as fuck, like bright ass. They stole my, I, I got a couple pieces of my soul, like just gone. There. That's what they're for. You know what? <laughs> You ain't doing shit with that soul no damn way. It is worth it. You ain't doing shit with it. No, I'll, well, I'll tell you right now, okay? Gingers, you can say what you want about gingers, but it doesn't matter what. You could be Polynesian or black or, or anything. Nothing is scarier than an angry ginger, okay? Oh, like, not at all. Oh, jokes Lord. aside, they're terrifying, okay? Oh, Lord. There's, it's a level past terror. You know what? It's psychotic when you pronounce the P. They're puss psychotic. <laughs> yeah. you, you pronounce the P on that one. They're psychotic. Psychotic. Yeah, psychotic. Yeah. With no, a hard P. <laughs> they're scarier than a Latino woman, okay? With five kids. It's, it's that scary. That's pretty scary. <laughs> yeah. No, it's pretty that's, like, that's like the amusement park. I didn't, I, I'm not coming here to ride the kitty ride, so fuck that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I actually used to date a Puerto Rican woman. So if it's scarier than that, that's scary. Oh, yeah, you you dating like them they're... Texas? You dating them Texas Latinos? <laughs> yeah. Oh God, I did. You're probably oh, no. done that, man. You probably call. You probably in the witness protection program right now, like twenty <laughs> yeah. years later. You had what? to get a whole new identity. <laughs> Why do you think I moved up here to Cedar Park? She she sacrificed like four chickens with your old name on it. <laughs> yeah. she, she bathed in the blood. Oh shit. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, but hey, when she sacrificed them, they had the cilantro and lime on the side though. So <laughs> shit. <you right. laughs> Squirt it right in your eye. Shot. See that this is shit. I can get away with saying that in Ohio. I, mean, I, I become yeah. fertilizer. I become fertilizer in Mexico real quick. Talking like this, so all my Latino friends, I apologize in advance. Please don't kill me. <laughs> hey, how come you guys don't have? How come you guys don't have your masks on? Like, what the fuck? I would appreciate if you guys would put on some sort of mask, just so that. Just, <clears throat> oh Jesus! I don't know if those have been washed. <laughs> <laughs> I got my own mask. Basically, I just go through uh, my roommate's Oliver underwear, and I just sell them as masks to really creepy old men. That's a good way of marketing called, it. Called panty masks. <laughs> <laughs> They're just going panty around like it, Maverick. With the, with the, with the current oh. climate in 2020, that's a lucrative business. Can I invest in that? You, you take it. <laughs> Yeah, we're going on a Shark Tank right now. I tell you what, we're going to get these fucking pussy masks uh, on every eligible bachelor out there <laughs> when does that go public <laughs> yeah. uh, well, when can i expect that to launch <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh so guys i know things have kind of slowed down as far as some the comedy um you know the clubs are closed and all that kind no, of stuff man, but... i got a, I got a show tonight i got a show tonight do you Garland, really uh, tavern yeah tavern on the square garland texas I gotta give a shout out to George Red Speaks, man. He keeping shit moving here in, in the DFW. Man, Garland, uh, we hitting it in Louisville. So yeah, tonight uh, we got a showcase at a Garland Tavern on the Square. Uh, George Red Speaks is the host and the promoter. Um, Zachary Sprung, a real su super cool dude. Uh, Zach Sprung Productions is gonna be on there. A couple of my other friends, Will Salmon's gonna be on there, Liz Splat. Man, a couple comics that, man, I didn't, I didn't been blessed to, uh, been able to share the stage with here in uh, in Dallas Fort Worth. That was a, uh, I'll tell you what. That was the reason that I'm on disclose to the public for me going to Texas, coming to Texas. Kyle, if you told me that I was would be in court, but I came I came to Texas to actually uh, work on comedy because it was one of the few states who was they got the, they got what they call that freedom here. You can do what the fuck you want to. So I came to Texas. I got I got I got my ten gallon hat and cowboy boots on layaway. They're on the way. <laughs> so wait a minute. So what you're saying is Utah is not a good place to be a comedian? 
<laughs> yeah, there's a lot of restrictions here. Some people just don't get my fucking humor. <laughs> hey, I, I'll, I'll say this about Utah. Now, I'm, I'm, uh, I, I spent most of my childhood going back between the Chicago area and Columbus, Ohio, and I was always told, man, you better not go to the South. So I was brave. I, I've been in Tennessee, Georgia, Alabama. I'm in Texas now. I'm still scared of Utah. I'm not trying to be the <laughs> only nigga in Utah, man. Y'all got, y'all got, that's just like National Geographic. Y'all got like a count, like they got the motherfucker, they got like the ear tag. Like, okay, we got 70 of y'all motherfuckers in here. I didn't count in eight. It's like, you either gotta, you gotta go or you gotta get tagged, so. Hey, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, well, I just want to take one moment to say hi to our uh, viewers in the UK. They're up late watching us because it's after midnight there. So, yes, thank you, UK. And I know we got Thank people you. from Ireland and, and Japan, <laughs> all over the U.S. What is worth? Hey, are they able to tip? Like, what kind of show is this? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not uh, hearing the dings for your tips. Oh, wait, man. this isn't the webcam version, is it? Travis from the turn shit into chatter bait and shit. Not that I know what chatter bait is, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't even oh, I don't know about them pornographical. <laughs> So they, hey. they got the clubs open up in Dallas Fort Worth area? No, they're we're, we're the, the the places we're performing uh technically classify as restaurants because they have uh fifty one percent or more of their sales uh by food. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Hey, and hey. truthfully though, I mean this this ain't a joke. Garland Tavern on the Square has excellent fucking food. I mean, it's a great place to go and eat. They've been really supportive. Um, I can't say their name in much. Uh, Tavern on the Square, George Red Speaks, Comedy Junkie Society. Even if you're in, you know, across the pond, uh, the internet is everywhere, so y'all can check us out and support over there. And hey, we on in Ireland. Hey, any gingers, hit me up, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all got them. Hey, hit me up. I'm, I'm, I'm on here. Y'all can get my info. So I was just looking I'm in the comments. We got somebody from Australia watching. So. Oh, good on, mate. <laughs> Put another shrimp on the bobby. <laughs> <laughs> so this is y'all's chance to shine. Y'all just let the comedy loose. I don't know. <laughs> I think I think it just happens. We just show the fuck up. I mean, with somebody like Travis, you got you got people that like force comedy. They're like, hey, hey, am I am I am I, I did, did you get it? Did you get did you get my joke? If you have to ask, you're not fucking funny. Travis, <laughs> yeah, I've seen Travis's videos. Travis just wakes up and it just accident, like funny on accident. It's like that, like spring water that just flows. It's like he gets a little bit of his natural comedy and just shares it with us. So, oh, yeah. you know, people like Travis don't have to try. I'm yeah. just kidding. I'm just like, just, <laughs> hey. I'm just stupid. Like 25, eight. Anybody. 25, eight. Those are real. Those are real digits, people. <laughs> hey, everybody it, out there right now, I just want to ask you a question. Are your underwear moist or are they dry? <laughs> this is, are they moist? I just want to know if they clean. Are, are they clean? Are they, well, I mean, if, if they are, <laughs> <laughs> just he's, go ahead and take them off. He doesn't turn it off. I, I see this guy <laughs> posting videos while he's working out, you know, putting in. Yeah, I dig holes. So <laughs> what you do is you take a shovel. And you put it in the ground, and you go like that, and then you do it again until you want to kill yourself. <laughs> but you don't kill yourself because you have morals and values and fucking children that you got to pay for. Because Shh, go figure. You know, they kids. Oh. <laughs> but he's and he's ORS. always like this. Always. Don't no matter if he's out there sweating his butt off. He's still like this. I don't have a butt. I want to make. An amendment, I want to add an asterisk to the uh, the clean underwear. If you're yes. um, a ginger woman, especially in Ireland, over five foot nine, you can send me the dirty draws. Like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <You're the> gingers, <laughs> dude. Oh, I wonder if there is any gingers out there that would do that. I need, I need, I need, to, I need to smell the accent in the draws. It, it don't count. If I can't smell the Irish, I need, I need, they need to smell like Guinness, too. Yeah, see, see so, that's wrong. <laughs> I got some dirty drawers, but I ain't from Ireland. Ah, I'm not. I'm not really my lucky right drawers. <laughs> I'm not here to be right, so fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be right. That this is all about y'all doing your thing. Yeah. 
Well, so, how about we go to the audience and like have them ask us questions uh, or our opinions on things, maybe? Or we got the um, audience. We have an audience, dude. You have a, a pretty big audience building up right now, because uh, I mean, <laughs> we've got you blasted out on several different pages. Uh, we got it going in the UK, and and like I said, we got Australia, Ireland, Scotland, Japan. All these places are watching you right now. Hey, I'm wherever this shit is legal. Don't tell nobody where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the fuck, dude? I am on the rag right now. Like, what is going on with that? Oh. that even... What the fuck? <laughs> Somebody actually commented that they may not be wearing underwear at this moment. So, wait, what? <laughs> That's even better. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what we got? We got. Don't you go dying on me now. <laughs> I want to ask the audience that we got Travis. We got Travis and Chris here, and they want to know if you have any questions for them. And if you do, blast them out, and they will be glad to answer for you. Until then, just keep going. <coughs> Um, get a lot of laughs on here, dude. Well, let me let me tell you a story. So I have a I have a, a godson, if you will. So I have two lesbian minute, friends. You literally in the closet. Yeah, I know. I'm in the closet. I'm in the closet right now, dude. This is a hard life. You know how hard it is to come out in the closet in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hard knock life. It's not. But yeah, isn't this a great background? Uh oh! Somebody said they're watching in bed naked. What kind of fucking hotel is this? Almighty. <laughs> 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 okay, so my so where are you? Precisely. Uh, <laughs> all right, Travis. Here we got we got something for you, Travis. Your girlfriend called Oprah Winfrey. You get a free joke fortune. <laughs> Gets a free, oh, I guess Chris. Chris gets a free joke. Everybody gets a free joke. Fuck <laughs> the so joke. I need a loan. Fuck oh, the joke. Lordy. I need, I need a loan. Let me, let me hold some, Oprah. Let me hold some yeah. chain. Get a good 100000 I'm good for it. Shit. Okay. Shit. Can I have 20 bucks? <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, Lisa says, what's your attitudes towards things as they are today? This this right here. <laughs> puff, puff, puff. <laughs> <laughs> Do not tell well, anybody where he's at. I'm in that space station. You got that left-handed cigarette. I'm in the space station. <laughs> <laughs> when they got that Russian motherfucker off, they stole that space. They sold the space station to Master P. They sold it to Master P for cheap. And I'm up here, man. I'm trying. I'm about to cut a new album, man. Me and Tupac finna cut this album on the space station. That's what we Hey, up is here. my dad there? If my dad's there, I'm oh, gonna be yeah. pissed. <laughs> yeah. We uh, been. He, he finna play bass, man. We got a track coming up, man. This. We had to get the authentic shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, Lisa, if I if, I, if okay, I'm gonna go but, first, but, this is how I feel about I'm it. Actually, I'm first. actually going to address the question seriously. Um, yeah. You go, if you, you go. look at like social media and people who scream and yell and try to sway you to one side or another, you will think that the fucking planet is on fire. And then you walk outside and you see people getting along and shit still moving along and people trying to make their way. So it's basically up to you. If you if you want to act like if you want to act like your hair is on fire, then it's on you. If you want to keep moving and you want to look for the opportunities in this because you know that one day that shit's going to reopen. If you want to, you know, look at the opportunity in it, then you can do that. So that's kind of how I feel about it. Good answer. All right, Travis. <laughs> yeah, that's a great answer. I think that everybody should just fucking start on fire spontaneously. No. So it basically, it's, it, it is what you make it, you know, with, with what's going on in the world right now. There's so much with the social media and people, you know, there's not a lot of us that are, smart 
So we're going to believe everything that we're fucking seeing on social media. We're going to buy into all this fucking bullshit about the masks and about the fucking, the, the, the coronavirus and the fucking, and, and now, now with, with the whole, the Black Lives Matter movement and all this, which these are all important things, don't get me wrong, but there's a lot of big, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot more, I guess there's bigger issues as far as the, the child trafficking and all these different things, but all of, everything is important that's going on right now and all this shit has to happen. We need to make these changes, but there's a lot of people that are trying to get some fucked up attention from all of these things that are going on. And they're, they're blowing a lot of things out of proportion in, in different areas. So to me right now, it's a fucking joke, you know? And, and when people are getting heated about certain different things or, you know, it, 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 to me, fuck you, you know? I'm going to do whatever the hell I want, but Man. at the same time, respect everybody's thingies that are going on. But in my opinion, it, it's you, all you bullshit. It We're all gonna, you can't avoid... You can't avoid diseases. You can't avoid yeah. racism or bullying. It's never going to go away. These yeah. are things that you just need to need to learn how to adapt to and be a fucking good person. You don't need to prove to people that you're not a fucking racist. You know what I mean? Or you don't need to you don't need to wear a fucking mask. Like a doctor said, putting a mask on is like putting a chain link fence around your fucking house and you're trying to keep out mosquitoes. It's mm -hmm. not going to fucking happen. Okay? So everybody's everybody's all worried about each other worried about you know oh my god they're, they're they're a disease oh my god oh my god uh they don't they're a racist and then what about the fucking kids that the government's peddling around this is the real issue in my opinion and god damn it this is just now my erection is gone thank you whoever asked that question you know me and chris we never got the memo we weren't supposed to like each other right no, I, I, I like I like who likes me and who I can work with. And if you don't like me, then you don't like me. And frankly, fuck you. I like <laughs> everybody until you're an asshole. Don't be yeah. an asshole. Yeah. Fuck. Exactly. I don't care exactly. who you are, what color, or whatever the fuck, what your religion is. Blah, 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 blah. If you yeah. if you treat me and mine like an asshole, well, guess what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be real respectful, cool. and you'll get respect. Exactly. Uh, real quick, my buddy. Drew Nicholas from uh, Paranormal Postmortem is is uh, watching, and we're gonna give him a quick shout out. He is uh, my partner on Drew TV. Drew! <laughs> Drew, 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 Drew. <laughs> I got something for you, Drew. <laughs> How dare you come in here and try to take my fucking time, you son of a! <laughs> Just Love you, Drew. Oh my gosh! Uh, I got we got a good comment here. Only person you need to prove yourself is to yourself. Exactly. That's exactly. that's some real shit right there. Well, like, the, love yourself. Take care of yourself. Worry about your fucking self. You know what I mean? Exactly. Uh, you know yeah. we all this stuff you see on social media, and I got to where I just I, I don't even pay attention to it anymore. Um, you know, they, there's trying to to trying to drive a wedge between us, but yet, you know, there's people like us who are trying to bring others together and comedy is a great way to do it. And I, I kind of look at it at a certain point, you know, information is there and you want people to be informed, but it's gotten to a point where people, they post things and it's like, why aren't you upset or outraged or afraid at the things that I'm afraid of? It's like, why aren't you pissed off? Why aren't you, why don't you, so it's like, well, you should be mad about this because I am. And yeah, it's not that. about you being informed or aware about fixing anything. It's, it's their ego. It's like, I'm pissed off and I'm upset and you need to listen and do it because I'm doing it and I'm saying it. And yeah. if you don't fucking agree with me, then you're a doodle head and fuck you. And it's like, I, I, I'll be aware of things, but at a certain point, once I have the information, I don't have time for fear in my life because I can't progress. I can't, I can't you know, actually make my way through life if I'm just sitting around fucking paralyzed by fear. Yeah, exactly. And there's so many people out there right now that are just like, yeah. oh, I'll wait till all this blows over before I get back on the saddle and try to accomplish things. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? No, hey, stay the fuck home. home. No, 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 doing no. Shit. Please, please stay the fuck home. More for me. Yeah, please. Right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you stay me, home and wear your masks and your bubble let me, suits. Let me buy Boardwalk and Park Place and all that good shit. You stay the fuck home. 
Stay the fuck yeah, off. Yeah, when, when you come out, you'll owe me, owe me, owe. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Well, my boner's back. We, Next we question. Have, we haven't stopped. In fact, that motivated us to do that much more, didn't it, Chris? Yeah, I mean, shit. I mean, if even if you look through history, it's like that's when empires, that's when everything is built. When everybody else is uncertain, when everybody else is panicking, when everything else is like the people who can stay calm and see the opportunity and make something happen. That's how shit gets done. I mean, that, that just, that's just life. So, exactly. you know, if if you know you want to be aware, it's like no, I'm not I'm not trying to run around like licking doorknobs at the homeless shelter, but naked. <laughs> I'm really oh, wait, not we're not supposed to do that. that? Our homeless not, shelter not on, doesn't have doorknobs. <laughs> <laughs> not on Tuesday, I just licked anyway. the hole. <laughs> but I, I just I just feel like that you know there's there's always opportunity in, in when everyone else it's just it's just the just the law of nature when everyone else is going one way. If you're really brave, if you're really bold, you're going to go the other way. My dad had a saying, and he said, I was so crazy, he said, the house is on fire, and I jumped in the window. And that's kind of how I live. <laughs> that's awesome, dude. That's great. My dad once said, uh, he said, nothing, he wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> that, he said, that, I'm going to build you a treehouse, son, but up first I got to go to the gas station. I'll be back. <laughs> oh yeah, but no, gosh. that's just the way that it is, dude. You, I mean, you, you got to motivate yourself. You can't wait for somebody else to like come by and fucking, you know, hey, you can do it. You know, you you got to start putting your faith and trust in yourself and in your craft. And like, these are things that I have to tell myself because there's always. I mean, we're always. You're always gonna doubt yourself. You're always gonna, you know, you you will always have a little bit of fear, but that fear goes away with action. You know, and the more confidence you build by doing and by doing, by doing. So and by, and by failing like too. That's why once you get used to having those failures and, and things not going your way, you're gonna have that initial hurt, but you're gonna get up as like, well, shit, I didn't die. So it's like, yeah. hey, I learned something from that, and it's like you get up, and it's like the 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 uh the comic Bernie Mac. He's got a saying. He always says, "Is I'm not scared of you, motherfuckers." And people thought it was something funny. When he was starting off in comedy, he went to the Apollo in New York, and he was an up-and-coming comic from Chicago, and there was a more established comic that went on before him. And they booed this comic mercilessly, ran him off stage. Bernie Mac had to go on after him at the Apollo while they were riled up. And the first thing he came on stage and said is, like, I'm not scared of you motherfuckers. It's like, whatever yeah. challenge it is, be a hostile crowd. If you're trying to finish school, then you might not, math night might not be your strong suit, but you got to knock this motherfucking statistics out. If you want a fucking promotion at work, it's like anything you want to do, no matter how much help you've had, if mom and dad have helped you and you haven't had no help at all, you're always going to have those moments where you got to look at yourself and say, are you afraid of this situation? Are you afraid of these people? Are you going to move forward? Are you going to sit where the fuck you are and make excuses and cry because you didn't fucking move forward? Yeah. Yeah, guys exactly. watching this, did you fucking hear that? Are you guys taking notes naked in your beds? Who's got, not wearing got, underwear got, again? Got, got Why can't they send us tape. pictures? My motivational tape come out on the first day, nine ninety five uh for the first tape, and then uh five fifty five each additional tape. That's fantastic. You know, us comedians make fine motivational speakers. <laughs> yeah, because we do a lot of dumb shit. Oh yeah, dude. Like all the time, we got actual life experiences. And then you have the comedians that are just, they're just bored. Yeah. You're not funny. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what are you doing? You're just reading shit off the internet, aren't you? You have no personality. You have to actually write, 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 write. But anyways, any other questions? Let's move on from this, this world shit. Where do you get all these underwear from, man? From my roommate's closet. Don't <laughs> tell her I'm in here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, we, I, all I've gotten is some comments, got some people telling you, you've really cheered them up today. And, uh, I know that I had a live on earlier with my buddy Drew and there was some people talking about how they were feeling down and everything. Now they're all talking about being cheered up. So thank you guys. Show us hey. them muscles, Travis. You Go like on that? sexy. Huh? You like them muscles? Yeah. Sexy pants.
Yeah. Hey, tell, tell your roommate I want to put a bin on them black fishnets. Are those for sale, or are you going to start having to auction <laughs> them draws off? She's she's not a redhead. I don't know. <laughs> uh, somebody That's wanted something. to know if she was a prostitute. <laughs> no, <laughs> she's a stripper. Hey. She's a stripper. Yeah, that's right. Ain't I live with a stripper. Ain't nothing wrong with, ain't nothing wrong with them strippers, man. There's nothing wrong at all. <laughs> Who about that shit? That's right. Oh, I can't even MC this thing. I'm <laughs> laughing too much. What you know about that shit? <laughs> what else we got here? <laughs> He's looking for more. <laughs> that should look like Hooters served breakfast or shit. Like he just got a tablecloth. Or just, I got a Hooter shirt. Don't even make me pull it out. <laughs> I want to uh, start that last comment from the record. <laughs> <laughs> now for the sexiest wig that I have. <laughs> Somebody says you just need some ballet shoes. <laughs> He's gonna find some too, I bet. You look like Tina Turner there for a moment. I know. <laughs> <laughs> What's love got to do? Got to do got with it. To do it. <laughs> no, she looks more, more of a man than I do. <laughs> I'm not even gonna attempt to sing that shit because I don't even, them notes I can't even fuck with. <laughs> oh my lord, no, have mercy. Is like that you like how i ripped that skirt off Train. let me tell you right now women women if there's women watching why in the fuck is the bottom of your closet always covered with everything like there's kitchen appliances in here people there's a safe the fuck why is five gum in here what are you doing you need a piece of gum as you're trying to figure out what you're not going to wear but you're just going to throw it on the floor that's why they hide them secrets at. You ain't supposed to know what's at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, you're brave just going in there. Yeah. It's like yeah. going into a woman's purse. You got to be brave to do that kind of stuff. TJ Maxx security's about TJ Max security's about to come kick him out in like 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got a request to take your pants off, Travis. My uh, pants hey. off? <laughs> He'll do it too. <laughs> hey, we gonna hey, hey, Kyle, you gonna need to start the meter on that. Hey, it, hey he yeah. has turned this into chat your bait. I made a joke. Hey, hey I'm not hearing any dings. That. Where's my tips? Y'all can't, <laughs> can't be giving that away now. That's that's a whole nother that's a whole nother charge on that. We can't get that away. <laughs> right. Oh lordy. Oh my God! Somebody said her, hers is full of batteries. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is that right? Oh. <laughs> Tell her she's, she's got to get the uh the pull start gas powered like with the Briggs and Stratton motor, like the lawnmower <laughs> motor. <laughs> 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 Drew just says blowjob. <laughs> oh, man. This shit is crazy. Kyle over there censored himself. <laughs> oh man. Like a fucking landmine in here. Like I'm waiting for some ex-boyfriends to jump out. Be like, is she home? <laughs> is she home yet? Can I smell her underwear? Shit. Every 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 country in Europe listening to this is just like reiterating that there's a travel ban from America now. And it's like, we don't want none of these motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, and Drew was supposed to move to the US. He's probably changing his mind about now. <laughs> They're gonna tell him it's like that's a one way ticket. If you go there, <laughs> so don't, don't, don't move nothing like this back on you. <laughs> oh my god. This, <laughs> this lady says that if she runs out of batteries, there's always her car battery. <laughs> <laughs> What about the nipple oh, slash? <laughs> Where's she at? Who is that? <laughs> she, she's in the UK. Hey, uh, Chris Hopkins, comedian uh, on uh, Facebook. <laughs> 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 
Zero two seven on Instagram. <laughs> Shit is on. Your kids are watching this. So somebody says, "Is this what comedy on Pornhub would look like?" <laughs> no, this is what comedy would be like on fans only. Hey guys, for ten bucks, I'll touch my butthole. <laughs> I got kids to put through college. Come on. Oh man, I'm gonna need my inhaler in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> that's a whole that's a whole separate site though that's sold separately you can't can't get the comedy at the dark that's the pay-per-view yeah yeah <laughs> yeah laughs only not fans only laughs only oh lord all right chris have you written any new material lately <laughs> yeah i have it's, it's not the nicest shit though but yeah i've, I've written some uh texas specific shit since I've been here, I always got some new stuff coming. Yeah. Oh, Lordy, can you share anything? Yeah, um, actually, it's okay. This is kind of an update because Kanye West, he actually ended his presidential campaign. But it tripped me out that he was actually uh, running for president. And Kim Kardashian has had so much black in her that she actually looked at him and said, nigga, please, that nobody had a problem with it. Now, Ray J. Y'all know who Ray J is, right? You know that's how Kim Kardashian, Ray J is Brandy's brother who, whose music sucked, but he actually, him and Kim Kardashian became famous because of that. Yeah, his, his, his music, <laughs> sorry, go ahead. No, no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I was listening, no, please. No, I, 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 was, yeah, I forgot that you're, that you're, that's a bit. Damn it, <laughs> I'm an asshole. But no. Yeah, his music sucked and so did she, and look at him now. Hey, but you know what? He actually uh, said that he wanted a, a position in the uh, West administration if uh, elected. The position he uh, chose is doggy style, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can I get the doggy style house? Yeah. Oh, my yeah. gosh. <laughs> Kim so, said she's actually, uh, she's planning to leave Kanye because she's into black men, though. She said uh, <laughs> she plans to date. She plans to start dating the Oakland Raiders. Not, not I, I know they moved to Vegas, not the Las Vegas Raiders, but the Oakland Raiders. The niggas that they cut last year that didn't make the team this year to decide to stay in Oakland. They all said, <laughs> fuck, we might as well just go ahead and fuck with Kim. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Diseases. That shit, man, come on now. That shit, is bio, that shit ain't even biodegradable. That's like when you see something far away. Like a like one of those showroom cars, like uh, the cars that are all painted up, like in the little trucking magazines. And then you get up and you see all the bondo and the fucked up paint, and don't none of the TVs work. Like the the exhibit pit my ride car, where don't none of the shit work. <laughs> <laughs> man, I need a bitch with some shelter like to eat, to eat a cheeseburger. That's man, I, I don't need I don't need no plastic bitches. I need a bitch with some, some some fat and some 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 feminine shit. Don't don't be too angular because you never know. It's like pet smart. You gotta lift the leg up to make sure these days. So I need to <laughs> I mean the fin see look at Travis's shit. You'll never know. See? You never know. <laughs> You'll never know. You never know. <laughs> I've been taking my hormone shots. <laughs> uh Cam Cam Newton, Cam Newton is in your DMs right now. You got like yeah. four NBA players. <laughs> this is his hat. This is his hat right here. Yep. See? Cam, come get your fucking hat, asshole. Stop leaving your shit over here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I asked for it, didn't I? <laughs> Once again, my name is Travis Hunter. Hooner Tang, go fucking follow me or I'll kill your family. <laughs> I mean, damn it. I suck at promoting myself. You know what? I'm not even finna claim none of the dumb shit I said. I'm gonna blame the liquor and the, um, what may have been weed. Y'all saw me smoking, so <laughs> I'm just a random mother. And unless unless y'all want to send some change, I gotta. I, I'll give y'all my cash app, my Venmo. I got all that. But other than that, man, I'm just I'm just a random motherfucker that just stumbled on a a, a, a Zoom me because everybody on Zoom. You know, Zoom. we, we uh, that that's probably not a bad idea. Next. Uh, the next one we do, we probably should uh, put up like the Venmos and stuff so people can send y'all tips or something. That would be awesome. Send me some of them pounds. I mean, I took my fucking pants off for you people. Are you grateful? Are you not entertained? Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I, just need, I just need fans from Ireland. Everybody in the UK across the pond, just come 
Just come be my fan and friend me on Facebook. Fuck that. Don't even send no money. And I'll give you a reason. We'll keep making a uh, fucking content to give you all a reason. But just check us out. Make sure you find the link. Like Kyle, like Travis. Go ahead and friend us because we're going to keep pushing out. If, if we can make you laugh just off of this, we'll definitely keep you laughing. Oh, hell yeah. These guys crack me up all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah. you can find Chris Hopkins on, on Facebook under Chris Hopkins. Um, let's see. It was It's Chris underscore Hopkins 027 right on Instagram. Yep. Okay. And then Travis. We got Travis Hunter on Facebook. He's got Hooner Tang, H O O N E R T A N G, Hooner Tang. That yeah, you get, go to Hooner Tang. You got your Instagram, your your Facebook. Um, then he's also got his videos on uh, on YouTube, which is um, Bangarang Hooner Tang. Bangarang Hooner Tang. You better spell that right, cause you never know if you miss a letter or two on that what you might wind up looking at. Bangarang. So B A. N A. How do you fucking spell it? <laughs> <laughs> Is it B A N G R A N G H O O N E R T A N G? Did I do that yeah. right? Yep. Bangarang. Hooner Tang. Like Bangarang, Rufio. You know what I mean? Bang. Bang! <laughs> I don't know. Basically, and, just uh, go follow me. Yeah. And, and uh, you you got somebody, Jennifer, um, she came on and said she's going to follow you both. Oh, yes. thanks, Jennifer. She is with uh, Longhorn Paranormal. Just made friends with them today, as a matter of fact. Oh, she's in Texas. Yes, she's in Conroe. Okay. So, yeah, yeah follow Longhorn Paranormal on Facebook <laughs> and on Instagram. They're freaking awesome, by the way. And we actually had her on our live show earlier today. And um, it was really great talking to her. You know what else is on there? The what? ghost of the University of Texas football program. <laughs> Come on, man. Come Hook on, em. man. Hook them. <laughs> Hook them, brother. You know, we're you guys get... are assholes. We're like, we're like, we're like, just like the worst thing. It's like, oh shit, y'all let Ohio in here. Oh, yeah, fuck. I'm gonna tell you what, man. You uh, you probably ain't gonna make it to the club if you say something bad about our Longhorns. No, I'm not. I, I, that's why I'm saying this for the comfort and safety of World Wide Web. <laughs> um, and it's by the so way, cute watching watching men fight over football. <laughs> <laughs> It's so it's so cute to watch other men fight over other men that play with other men in tight ass pants. Oh God, I fucking love those <laughs> tight ass pants. <laughs> bah, bah. Hey, and yeah, also they get fights over over fantasy football. A bunch of guys that are married to females that have vaginas are over hanging out with other guys that don't have vaginas. By the way, but they're gonna go over there and they're gonna fucking argue over other men. I love it, dude. Continue, please. Uh, I also want to mention about Chris. He does have videos, um, some uh, interviews on our listen to the, I mean, excuse me, the Vibes Broadcast Network. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so um, make sure you check out those videos because he talks about some cool stuff on there like the UFC and um well, name some of the stuff you talk about, because I'm, I'm trying well, to do I've some. Right some I've got some MMA fighters on there. Um, I got a friend of mine I played a college fo uh, semi-pro football with who played at Auburn, uh, Lewis Battle, who's got a recruiting service down in Georgia. I was going to link back up to him, but I don't know if football is coming back. Um, we got the great interview with uh, Dave Freetag um, from the uh, Columbus uh, Police Department. We're actually um, going to redo the interview with uh, Scopes, the Columbus Battle rapper, on Monday. Um, cause we had some bad audio, but I'm looking forward to getting that in. Uh, shout out to Columbus, but we got, we got a lot of great stuff on there. And then we've also, we got the, uh, the first interview that I did with you with, uh, Chad Lindbergh, uh, from, uh, the, uh, paranormal, uh, broadcast radio net, uh, PBR. The, oh, yeah. Yeah. We, uh, well, it's on into the pit now. We, we don't yeah. mention the other, uh, the other network anymore. <laughs> it's on the yeah, vibes broadcast network now. <laughs> No, they're awesome people, but um, 
it's we edit it so it's our stuff now um i i am going to actually send the links to y'all's facebook page to yeah. one of the admins and they're gonna yeah. blast it out for me blast <clears throat> blast blast ah. blast keep going keep going don't stop <laughs> that's what she said <laughs> can't say that with duct tape i've got that. about i got about nine minutes and then i gotta hit the road because uh the show shows at eight i got about like a 20 minute drive so i definitely wanted to shout out again um if if um i think there's a leak a link we're gonna have to the live stream so when i get that call i'll send it to you but uh, we're gonna be at a uh, tavern on the square garland texas um it's a comedy junkie society production put on by george red speaks gonna be a hell of a fucking show right Boom. there you go how about you travis are you gonna be able to get out and do some stand-up sure i have to renew my license <laughs> <laughs> they don't let you into the club if your license is expired uh -oh. so so basically and the dmv is you know it's shut down <laughs> So it's like, fuck me. But you know, I just do my other stuff, you know, I just, whatever. And then I do acting stuff and short films and I've got a couple projects coming out here soon. And uh, yeah, you know, that stuff. That stuff. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get your stuff out here right now. Are you good? So yeah, y'all. Yeah, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to promote you guys, come on. Hey, why, why are you in here? Also, um, thank you to uh, my friends in Chattanooga, uh, Charles Newby and Bryant Smith. Uh, they've uh, actually come on and uh, talked to you, Kyle. They've got a podcast, uh, Netflix, uh, actually internet show going on, Gravy Boys, where it's a cooking show, and they also uh, raise the money for charity. Uh, definitely want to shout out uh, Bridget Martin, who's uh, hosting at the Comedy Catch, and she uh, helped me get started, and also uh, Donnie Marsh. Who's uh? He's got a couple things going. He runs the uh, Scenic City Comedy Festival, uh, doing a lot of great things in Chattanooga. So definitely wanted to say hi to them. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, we we're trying to get the the word out on all these um, different comedians because some of them aren't able to get out to the clubs. Um, they are trying to do stuff online and the best stuff that they possibly can, but it's not it's not easy in what's going on right now. Yeah. <clears throat> go, go fucking support us guys jesus so you know th these guys gotta eat too believe it or not go figure yeah it. my tummy i ain't food <laughs> my belly <laughs> or just money and then i'll buy whatever i want <laughs> okay i sent it off um, i'm hoping it gets pinned on some of the other uh pages let me copy them from off of here and okay. and I, I will put it on our live that i'm doing on my page right. don't man don't stop keep going keep going oh oh uh, <laughs> i'm already uh, done man i'm gonna go get ready i had that happen man i already finished i'm about to get this you have to finish that yourself <laughs> what? Oh. Rub, rub your monkey man i'm gonna go fucking play madden rub your monkey madden <laughs> Reason number three why Chris is currently single. Oh. <laughs> Lord. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> uh. Excuse me. He engineering, he hosting and engineering at the same time. I'm trying to do it all at one time, man. That's like I'm that old Bugs Bunny. First base, Bugs Bunny. Second base, Bugs Bunny. Short stop, Bugs Bunny. Outfield, Bugs Bunny. <laughs> hey, you make, it, you make that shit happen, though. <laughs> I'm trying, brother. I'm trying. We appreciate you so much, Kyle. Hey, if, if you were <laughs> if you were in this room right now, in this in my closet with me right now, I would give you a big old hug. Pants off. <laughs> <laughs> Has either of you ever heard the Trapped in the Closet series by R. Kelly? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I have no, not. I have it, but that sounds great. <laughs> Oh, it's a, it's a whole internet wormhole. It's oh like literally like twenty something songs where basically R. Kelly's cheating on this with like with this chick. She's cheating with R. Kelly, and she rushes him in the closet, and her husband comes home, and all this other stuff happens. There's a fucking midget involved. 
it just it it but there's like 20 something songs. Just go to YouTube and just type in R. Kelly trapped in the closet. You will not fucking be disappointed. Oh Lord. <laughs> yeah. Lord. Lord. Okay. Lord. Okay. I'm gonna oh, have to do no. this another way. I'm gonna have to do this another way. I don't oh, want Lord. to. I didn't want to have think, to do this, but I'm going I think to have that's to. One of the episodes. I think Arce R. Kelly says that in one of them episodes when he comes out of the closet because, like, her husband doesn't leave and he pulls the gun and he's like, I'm going to have to do this another way. I can't see <laughs> R. Kelly, though. Hey, you know, one of my favorite episodes of uh, South Park was when they were trying to get Tom Cruise to come out of the closet. Come on, Tom, come out of the closet. <laughs> Tom Cruise is so gay. But I love that man as an actor. Fucking love him. Hey, <laughs> you want to work? You better work. You better say something nice, man. Them Scientologists is motherfucking solid, man. You never know. Them shits is they right around the corner. Yeah. They're scary. They'll, they'll have you killed. <laughs> All right. I'm making this happen for you guys. Slowly oh, but surely. Out, Slowly oh, but shit. surely. I'm getting there. We're probably going to end in a few minutes anyway. Um, so uh, if yeah. y'all have anything else that you would like to share before we do call it quits. It's now sharing time. It's time to share. <laughs> share. Y'all made this a great show. I, I will say you really did. Thank you so much. Hey. And I'm not just. You gotta show people that, you know, there's still normalcy going on and you can fucking laugh and be happy. Exactly. You know, yes. and I'm not I'm not just saying that because y'all paid me 200 bucks a piece, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, <200. we're> going... <laughs> oh, wait, I don't have $200. <laughs> <laughs> we we are planning on doing this again. I have the other two guys that uh, were supposed to be on tonight. We're going to have them back on uh, another evening. I'm hoping we can make this like a weekly thing. So. It would the be internet awesome. in West Virginia went down. They got a mule that like runs on a treadmill, and the mule stopped running, so the internet in all of West Virginia went down. Yeah. Bye bye internet. <laughs> all righty then. I uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure that you follow me, me, me. And that was okay. <laughs> and and then and then definitely if you're if you're really naked. Or you're you don't have underwear on or whatever. Slide into my DMs and fucking prove it. Don't be typing some bullshit. Okay, calling you out, underpants. Send them my way. You are going to get the most horrific like pictures of underparts you do not want to see in your DMs. It's going to have like it. teeth. it's going to have. Oh, and I'm not talking about fucking shit that you get off of of the internet. Okay, I want it to be you. Okay. Uh, if you're, it's it's gonna be like a little head from Alien is gonna come out like and like start. Like, <laughs> I want shit to be winking at me. Like, what is that? Like, I have to decipher. Is that underwear? Is that? Is that my oh my <laughs> gosh! My my mom actually jumped on here. She's probably gonna disown me after this. <laughs> now, off. what did I tell you? <laughs> Don't be hanging out with them Utah boys. <laughs> They're the biggest perverts of them all. Oh god. Oh gosh. Oh, I'm sorry, Chris. Did you mention your your uh, your social media and stuff again? Yeah. Um. I'm on uh Facebook as a uh, Chris Hopkins comedian. Uh, Instagram Chris Hopkins zero two seven, and then um, I don't really fuck with any. I, I'm I'm an old person. I I can only do two social medias at a time. My Twitter shitty. I don't do that Snapchat. I don't do all of that. I do I do Facebook and I do Instagram. And and, and I'm barely doing those. So y'all can find me on there. And I'm on Cash App if you're really serious. All right. So <laughs> if you're in the Dallas Fort Worth area, Garland area, go Garland, see. Texas tonight. If you can't make it out tonight, um, we're at Hat Tricks on Mondays in Louisville. And then uh, we're uh, every Thursday at uh, Tavern on the Square in Garland. Awesome. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate it, brother. Well, Chris Hopkins. Hey, Chris thank Hopkins. You, it was a, it was a, it was a pleasure. pleasure. Man, I'll be back, man. I'll see y'all soon. All right, Chris. Later, brother. And 
last but not least, we have Travis Hunter, Mr. Bangarang Hunter Tang. Hooner Tang, <laughs> Bangarang. You know, when other people say it, it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm kind of rethinking this. <laughs> Boomerang. Bangarang. No. Go follow him on Facebook at Travis Hunter. Instagram, Hooner Tang. Yeah. Go, you know, and you got the links to your, your face. I mean, your um, YouTube and everything on there, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, so. Yeah. Definitely want to go follow him. Um, follow him and watch his videos every day. Uh, he definitely keeps us entertained. Yeah, it's it's pretty bad, guys. And it's just random stuff. Most of it's not even funny. It's just funny to me. And that's really all that matters. <laughs> hey, Just kidding. I appreciate all of you. I can't see you. I'm staring at my phone, so I'm just seeing my face. So I can get really sentimental because I'm looking at something I love so much. I love you guys. <laughs> I love you, man. <laughs> You're pretty fly for a white guy. Wait, I'm white? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Look, everybody that tuned in, thank you so much. Um, and keep an eye out on our, our social media when we get to do this again, which I'm hoping will be next week. Um, we're going to have these funny guys back um, hopefully soon. And look for the other guys that come on here. Give them, give them some love. So once again, thank you for joining. And we're going to end right there. Say goodbye, Travis. Goodbye, Travis. <laughs> I was, you know, I just knew that was going to happen. <laughs> I'm what you call predictable. Okay. <laughs>